everyone, I'm back with another um, video from my CHA projects for winter 2012. And um, this next one is a um, small shadow box. And this is what the box looked like before I did anything to it. And this box I got from the dollar store, so it only cost me a dollar. And it's a relatively shallow box, and I honestly don't know what you do with it. I think it was in the kids section, and kids just paint on it and put glue stuff on it. Um, but I also bought a stand um, for it at the dollar store, and it looks like this. And it's super cute, and it just went perfect for it. So I got it, and this is what I made. This is... Um, Okay, that's what the box looks like. It, that's what how it stands, basically. As you can see, the stand holds it nicely. So this is my shadow box that I made. Um, I used a ton of Lindy Stamp Gang products on this, and I wish I could remember them all, but I don't. But if you're interested on all the products that I use, they will be listed on my blog. So check that out. Um, in the background over here, I used uh, Kaiser Craft um, wood um, bird cage. I don't know if you could tell there. And I sprayed it with some of my Lindy's, and it's super shiny in the back. Then this is a picture of my daughter um, that I love, and it's in a garden. So I thought it would be perfect for what I had in my head um, that this. Um, was going to turn out to because I wanted it to look like a garden like springy you know the theme was springtime so that's what I wanted to do so I used two of the I Am Roses sprays and I sprayed the the flowers on that spray which are these little gardenia looking ones with different sprays and in the back you see these little um, ball looking thingies they're from Michaels and I used different kinds of I Am Roses, roses and sizes, as you can see, all over. And I really like the look of it. I also added in the back some of these little sprays. And these are little, you know, the little plastic holiday sprays from Michaels. And the first thing I did with this box was um I you know primed it using um gesso and then I um did a dark color in the I don't know if you could tell right there because it's all crackled let me see there you go you could tell right there um I used a dark color then I put the crackle medium and afterwards I put some ivory vanilla paint on it and it crackled um, so that's, there you go, that's how that looked. That's the crackle. I didn't do the back, of course, because you won't see that. But um, that's what I did. Then afterwards, I sprayed it using um, the creme brulee um, spray from Lindy Stamp Gang. And I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but the background and everything on the outside is shiny obviously from the spray. I even painted in these, the leaves that come in the I Am Roses spray and look at how shiny that is. I really like it. I punched these out from the Martha Stewart uh, you know the different Martha Stewart butterflies and I sprayed them with my Lindy's and then I also sprinkled a little bit of embossing powder on it because I love doing that and I love the you know the distressed look the butterflies take then at the top over here, um, the lighting is so awful, I can't um, believe, but I think you could see the shimmer on it. I used the MFT, one of the MFT banner dies, and I used the um, Flea Market Collection by Colorbach um, for this as well. I layered two different pattern papers, and then I used some Meyer Road little chipboard letters, which I sprayed with my Starburst stains. 
and it shimmers so nicely. I love it. Then over here, some little mini I Am Roses roses. And I hope you can see the shimmer. It's, they're so pretty. Really like how that turned out. I just glued it onto some um, jute rope. And then I um, cut the ends off the rope. And then I just glued the ends to the top of the box. Um, what else is there? You know, I just coiled the ends of all the plants. Then I used some of the charms from the Lindy Stamp Gang store. And you can see that there. And I embossed them with some of the embossing powder from Lindy Stamp Gang. Again, the details on all the colors I used and everything I used on my blog is on my blog. And then I added some, whatchamacallit, There's, these are Prima Pearls that were from a little spray, you know, one of those curly Q ones. And I just cut them out and I put them in there, you know, in the middle, just for a little accent. And that's how my shadow box turned out. Super shimmery, super pretty. It looks like exactly what I wanted it to look. Look at the flowers. I hope you could see the shimmer on them. So pretty. I'm really happy what it came out. And, you know, and from the dollar store, you would never think. But yeah. Um, so try to keep a lookout on what you find on the dollar store because you can really transform it. I really liked how this, this one turned out. So um, that is my little mini shadow box. I hope you liked it. Um, on my next video, I'll show you my last two projects from CHA. And um, again, I appreciate all your comments. Thank you so much. And um, visit my blog for the pictures of this because I have detailed pictures of all of these on my blog. Um, so I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.